Hey everyone, happy Wednesday. Of course, it is Wednesday Table Topics. And this is what I pulled out for today. How much are you influenced by others' unhappiness? I'm like, crap. <laughs> well, in all honesty, I consider myself a highly sensitive individual. Um, I can go in a room or I will come around someone and I just sense this energy of unhappiness. And I'm the kind of person that will either get uncomfortable or ask what's wrong. It just depends on if I want to address that situation in truth. Um, but I'm feeling it. And, and so for me, I'm heavily influenced by it. Then I start to kind of think about work. Imagine when you're around a bunch of unhappy people. What does that look like? How does that feel? And so someone needs to re-energize that group. Uh, there's a lot of times I, I try to put my, myself in a, in a good mood and I'll act like an idiot. I mean, some of you probably, um, you know, I will turn music on and start dancing or just do something, you know, or maybe we try to uh, have a joke and laugh um, because we have to get out of that unhappiness, right? That, or, the, or just that sense of uh, weirdness. I think that's the better way to describe it. So on the back of the card, I think I haven't always been reading it, but it says, when it's possible, distance yourself from people who are chronically unhappy. Is your work feeling like it's chronically unhappy lately? What can you do to change that paradigm? Maybe you need to turn on some music and, and have some fun or, or maybe pause one day and play a game with each other. I don't know. I guess my point is at the end of the day, change it. Remember, you want to go to work feeling like it's Friday night every day. So how do you shift from chronically unhappy? And so that is Wednesday's tabletop question. I'll see you next week.